All right, turn to Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. Now, there's some different types of sermons you, you can preach. You can preach an expository sermon, which is going through a whole chapter. You can preach a topical sermon. That's what I'm going to preach tonight. And then in a topical sermon, you can either preach, you could preach a call to action. So you can be telling people, hey, you need to start doing this. Or you could preach a sermon that is telling them to abstain from something, saying, hey, don't do this. Or you could preach a motivational sermon. And that's what I'm going to preach tonight. A sermon that will get us kind of, if you're burnt out, it will get you more motivated to do what's right. And it's press toward the mark. The title of the sermon is press towards the mark. Philippians chapter 3, look down at verse 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now what does press mean? Press means to urge, to strain in motion, to urge forward with force. We should be pressing towards the mark. Are you pressing in life? In life? Are you pressing to get better, to serve God more? If you aren't, you need to be. Ephesians 5, 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We only have a short amount of time in life to press, and we need to be pressing with all of our might. Like, time is like an hourglass. You know, you flip the little hourglass over, and the sand starts trickling through. There's only so much sand that trickles through, and then there's no sand left. Now, your life, it's tr it's 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 running out your life is running out little by little and you only have so much time before you're going to go to heaven and the time to be pressing is over you need you only have so much time to press you need to press life is like a prison and we're all on death row nobody gets out alive so you just want to do as much for god as you can elizabeth the first last words are all my possessions for one moment of time she was dying and she's saying my whole kingdom it's gone i only had it for one time now that's true because you have stuff on this earth and do you want to have a bunch of stuff on this earth and no rewards in heaven? Or do you want to have rewards in heaven and maybe not so much stuff on this earth? Beto Beethoven's last words were, too bad, too bad, it's too late. It was too late. Do you really want to be on your deathbed saying, it's too late, I have no time left to press. I have no time left to serve God. Or do you want to serve God now, get up and serve God as much as you can in, what, in this life that you have? We only have a short amount of time. Use that time wisely. James 4.14 says, Whereas ye know not what shall be in the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Your, your life is like a vapor. You know, like when it's cold outside, you'll breathe hot air, and it just is there, and then it's gone. Your life is there, and it's gone. And that's it. There is no more of your life. Your life's gone after that. You, you can live eternal for heaven, but you, your rewards... That, that are up in heaven, you only get them at one time. This is the time to get your rewards. You want to be pressing now. Now is the time to press. I run to Betty Jo. And you say, what is Betty Jo? Betty Jo has a road down our road that's a mile away. A mile away. And you're like, ah, oh, just a mile. That's it. A mile's hard. I had to train for this mile. And I ran it, and I almost threw up. Halfway there, I was like, oh, I got to stop. But I did it in about nine, nine to ten minutes. I think it was like nine minutes and 30 seconds. And I was, I was pretty happy. I was like, that's pretty good. But I had to train for that mile. And you know when I was during that mile, I couldn't be like, ah, oh, this is so easy. At the end, it was kind of hard. And you know what? I had to press for that mile. But you know what? I got the prize of saying, hey, I, run a, I ran a mile in nine minutes. And that's, I'm pretty happy with myself. And that's pretty good because I pressed for that mile. I worked for that mile. And then I got the reward of being able to tell people I ran a mile in nine minutes. Now, you can press in life. But if you press like, oh, I'm kind of pressing. That's not pressing as you should be you should be like i'm pressing i'm running I'm, I'm doing as hard as i can you should be all in first corinthians 9 24 says know ye not they which run in a race run all but one receiveth the prize so run that ye may obtain are you running in life like you're running to obtain that prize in heaven that spiritual um reward in heaven are you running and trying to press and just trying to get, just trying to get that prize so hard or are you kind of like i'm going to the prize you should be trying to press and get that prize. If you run in a race, you run in a mark to receive a prize, and the people who are running, usually they're running pretty hard, even if it's a big prize. There's a race coming up that I want to run. It's a Chick-fil-A 5K, and you get a year's worth of Chick-fil-A if you win it. I want to win that race, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try to win that race. But let me tell you what. A lot of the people there try to win that race too. So I'm going to have to try real hard, harder than they try. And they're going to be running, and we're all trying to get that prize. Now, in life, there's even a better thing that you're trying to get. It's, it's 
What you're trying to get in life is you're trying to get rewards in heaven, not just a year's worth of Chick-fil-A. And this is for all eternity. So you should be pressing even harder than you would in other earthly things. In life, you should be always, oppress, always pressing and always trying to do more and accomplish more for God. Press towards the marks so that when your life has ended, you can say, as Paul did, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, and I have kept the faith. You want to be pressing so that at the end of your life, you don't say, too bad, too bad, too, it's too late. You want to be pressing so at the end of, your, end of your life, you don't say, as that one queen did, Queen Elizabeth, all my possessions for one moment of time. And then she went into eternity with no, nothing there. Hell. As a Christian, don't waste time. Press towards the mark. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, please bless everybody here. And please fill the next preacher with your Holy Spirit. And uh, please help us to uh, receive this word. And um, please help us to all press towards the mark more diligently and than we did before. In Jesus' name, amen.